Hi, my name is Narelle Campbell and I'm the station leader at Davis Station. Now Davis is the most southerly Australian Antarctic station and it's situated 2,250 nautical miles south southwest of Perth. Uh, we're located on the Vestfold Hills and not far from here is a, a fantastic huge glacier called the Sawsdall. We're just coming out of those really cold dark winter months but we're still experiencing minus 25 degrees and fortunately today there's not a lot of wind um, and we've been quite lucky the last couple of months where we haven't had uh, too many strong winds not like some of the other stations in Antarctica which can easily get up to 100 knots. We arrived last October uh, a team of, well the whole summer team and winter team, so we had roughly 90 people on station during the summer. And then when the ship left uh, in February, uh, left us with 20 personnel to carry through for the winter months. Now the 20 personnel consist of 13 males and 7 females. Within that team we have a chef, because we love our food and we love the variety of food that the chef provides us. All uh, all geared towards looking after our health. We don't obviously get fresh food down here except a small amount that we can grow in our hydroponics. Our plumber, our plumber makes sure that our water runs, that um, they also look after the other little things like uh, gas fittings and uh, making sure we have enough gas um, supplies on station as well. Uh, for the electricians, they look after a range of things. Simple things like making sure that when we turn a light on, that it does turn on. Our heating, um, very important for us down here. We have three mechanics um, and a lot of plant equipment. And when I say plant equipment, it's lots of vehicles, cranes, um, JCBs, utilities, haglands, quads, and that's just to name a few, snow groomers. And those guys are always kept very, very busy um, servicing those vehicles because they use regularly and making sure probably the, one of the more important things, our powerhouse, which provides us with that energy um, around station, that it is continually going and we don't have any power outages. We have weather observers. Um, twice a day they release a weather balloon and the data that's obtained from that balloon release is recorded and it assists with providing weather forecasts um, around the world. Uh, we have a doctor. The doctor looks after our health. Two communications teams. Well, their main role is to make sure that we can communicate with ourselves here on station and also um, back home to family, friends, work colleagues um, and also any of our science data can be transmitted back home. Uh, we have a stalls person, so you can imagine we have a very large warehouse here. It's like a mini Coles or Woolworths and a Bunnings all combined together. Over winter we have a few scientists here on station. Elise and Sarah are looking at microorganisms in some of the lakes around in the Vestavold Hills. They're finding out what they are, how they live, and what impact environmental changes might have on them. We also have Dave, and he's looking at things including space and atmospheric weather, using special radars to measure way up high in the atmosphere and recording the Aurora Australis activities. The southern lights are an absolutely amazing thing to watch during the winter nights. Throughout the year, we also help out with long-term science projects, such as recording the depth of the sea ice on a weekly basis and downloading images from a number of our cameras positioned on the islands close by. These cameras record wildlife, such as penguins and other birds, their movement and their populations at various stages during the year. The cameras also allow us to monitor changes in the sea ice. My role as a station leader is to um, make sure it all works well and everyone supports each other uh, with the science projects and in their normal work programs. Just ensuring that uh, we look after the environment, we don't do anything wrong to the environment, uh, everyone is safe and, safe and healthy. It's so important down here for everyone to be patient, tolerant and uh, really watch out for each other and that's the nice thing about the community life down here that we do do that and we do it really well.